Local Weather Authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Good morning, our Graber Post buildings cam looking south on 3rd Street or US 41, whatever you want to call it. We're focused on traffic moving along just fine this morning. We're also focused on these flags on the south side here, and you certainly notice what's going on, right? That wind. These are very large flags, by the way, on the south side of Terre Haute, so you know there's a breeze out there this morning. Our winds are coming in out of the northwest right now at about 15 to 20 miles per hour, so so with temperatures currently sitting in the low to mid 40s for most of the locations out there, it actually feels even colder because of that wind. Nearly everyone feels like the 30s this morning. It is a chilly start to the day, and those winds are going to stay gusty as we go throughout the day today. We'll have wind gusts this morning in excess of 30 miles per hour. Wind gusts this afternoon could top 40 miles per hour, and that wind is going to continue even into the start of tomorrow, though it lightens some, still breezy conditions as we head throughout Tuesday as well. So this upper low that's now situated well to the east of us is still impacting our weather as it did this weekend. We see those spotty showers still kind of left behind here. We're not seeing a lot out there this morning. You can see the clouds, though, certainly still holding on across the entire Wabash Valley. We've seen a few spotty showers now extending south of I-70 in Clay County over into portions of Owen County. A little bit of rain showing up around the Crawfordsville area this morning. Elsewhere, you got a lot of clouds and you got a lot of wind. And as we go through the day, we can't rule out a few isolated showers. Not a big threat, a slight chance. And most of the chances are greater the further east you go, closer to that trough of low pressure. We'll get breaks in the clouds through the overnight hours for everyone. Tomorrow, though, still kind of keeping those clouds around. And in the afternoon, again, maybe a spotty sprinkle or two on Tuesday as you see that energy kind of still holding on. By midweek, the changes will come. And any rain we see today will not be a big deal. As you see, we're talking five hundredths of an inch or less. It's more of a nuisance than it is a problem for us. Just some very potentially light rain showers in a few spots today. Other than that, the real story today, the clouds and the wind. The wind factored in is going to be an issue with us today as temperature should be near 70. We don't get out of the mid 50s. Tonight, overnight lows drop into the low 40s. We'll get a little clearing. I wish I could say the winds completely die down, but they don't. They lighten by tomorrow, but still a factor with a few isolated showers possible. Sunshine midweek, still cooler than average. Thursday, a seasonable sunny day. A few showers may linger around here for the end of the week, but look at the weekend. 75 Saturday, near 80 on Sunday, and right now looks like a dry weekend.